Hey folks, welcome back here to the Vegas Don Channel. We're here just south of Cheyenne Avenue and Michael Way. Showing you some homes lining the roadway here, a block off of Cheyenne. This is Redberry Street here. We're gonna make a right here onto Michael and uh, turn into this little neighborhood here. This is a matter of 100 feet away from uh, Cheyenne Avenue, which is a major uh, east-west artery here in town. See these uh, homes lining the roadways here. This is east. They just literally taped it up there. Masking tape. Oh, there's no glass in here. Okay, and this looks like it's going to bring me back out here to Redberry again. over here on the south side of Redberry here. Temperature right now, the car reads at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 48 degrees Celsius, I believe. So uh, not much in the way of folks walking around outside, hanging around outside right now on this Saturday afternoon in Las Vegas. We're gonna make this left onto Michael again. Proceed southbound. Huge lot over here. All emptied out and nothing in there. Some uh, older homes lining the roadways here. We got Mossman Avenue there. Speed limit 25 in here. Avenida Vaquero was the name of that roadway there. Clouds Rest Avenue. Cyber truck parked in this driveway. I this is my first time seeing one of these in person, and uh, I, I yikes! I just not, I don't know how people can like that. That's really weird. 
and they've had so many problems with them too. I've heard, read all kinds of articles about all the problems they've had with the cyber trucks. And the range is not what it should be or has been advertised to be. But then I've read that's also a, a, a huge problem with a lot of the Teslas, really. They've kind of uh, maybe exaggerated a little in my humble opinion. There's a tiki hut there. Looks like it's using, losing its tiki. Avenida Sia. Yeah, the range hasn't been as uh, strong as it was advertised to be, at least that's what I've read. And just one more look here at the Cybertruck. Here it is. And uh, they are susceptible to extreme temperatures, so cold and heat will uh, make them, will affect their range considerably. That's uh, my first time seeing one in person. I make the right here back onto Michael and head back southbound. out there, Sheila Avenue, as we come up to Sunburst development over here on the left. Gated neighborhood there. And you have a lot of that too. You have these older homes, ranch style homes especially, next door to a whole new housing development in this area of town. Christian Family Center over here on our left. Alfred Drive on our right. Cleary Port, there on our right. Seattle Slough Drive. And this is Smoke Ranch here. We're gonna make a right on the Smoke Ranch. This is a Cary, by the way, C-A-R-E-Y on the east side of town. We have some videos of our time over on Cary. So Feel free to check those out in our library. We'll go westbound now. Jean Drive. A lot of a lot of female named roads, at least names that have traditionally been female uh, in this area, in this in this city, in this whole town. I've seen that a lot. Camellia. Al Alidara. Winwood Street. Name for Steve Winwood? No, I don't know. We're putting on a roof over here. As we come up here to Jones, we're going to make a left on the Jones. Mr. Jones and me. south artery here in Las Vegas. Now we finally got the green light here at Jones Boulevard, so we're going to take this left and go southbound on Jones. Saddle and Spur Saloon, it says there. So this is Jones Boulevard heading southbound towards Lake Mead Boulevard. Bicycles may use full lane, and that's going to cause some accidents. Not for me, but I know other folks that uh, don't really care for bicyclists, or don't, or don't have the patience, I should say. And I ride a bike, so I know. I've had people sit there and honk at me when I'm doing nothing, other than riding my bike on the side of the road in the bike lane, a designated bike lane. And uh, yeah, it's not pleasant. This is a thin roadway to begin with. That's, I, that, I don't know who thought of, dreamt up this idea. Come up here to light at Lake Mead. There's a Starbucks there. And, of course, a 7-Eleven. Right there on the corner. And just to augment the 7-Eleven thing, um, had a viewer tell me there are 166 7-Elevens here in 
Las Vegas, 166. I, for me, it seems like it's a lot more than that because they seem to be like on every corner. So we continue southbound here on Jones Boulevard, coming up down to the light at Vegas Drive. And uh, looks like we're going to be stopping. is Carl Street. We're going to make this right on the Carl. I'll show you the neighborhood in here. Off of Lake Mead Boulevard. And Jones Snug Haven Court. That's the right name of this road right here. Crow Haven Court. some TLC in my humble opinion. Gatewood Drive as the landscapers go to their destination. And that was Stony Brook Drive. There's Hermitage Drive. Battle Creek Circle. All these speed bumps in here. Another yard you might need some little TLC there. Breezewood Drive. segments of the uh, north-south section of uh, uh, the east, the west part of town along the north-south arteries. Looks like they just paved this road not too long ago. Lanning Lane. Condominiums gate in there. And another juice vendor right there. A pair of gas stations here across the street from each other. Conoco, Conoco, and Rebel. Finally got the green light here at Lake Mead, West Lake Mead Boulevard. As we continue northbound on Tory Pines, beer, wine, discount cigarettes, video poker, very exciting stuff. The Sanctuary Apartments, 2051 apartment homes over on the left there. The Sanctuary Leasing Office. At least there's a designated bike lane on this street. This guy looks like he's on an e-bike. I'm doing 35 and so is he. Boy, if that thing hits somebody, that's a death trap. More of the sanctuary here as we come up the smoke ranch. I don't want you coming over. Okay, I'm gonna make this right on the smoke ranch. section here and now eastbound here on Smoke Ramp which is also Cary C-A-R-E-Y here's Park Hers Park whatever H-E-R-R-S it said over there to our left now hiring friendly faces for a preschool daycare I'm gonna make this right here on the Maverick Street the area here from Maverick. This 
missing both headlights on there. Looks like a Civic. Yeah, that's an old Civic. Rosalita Avenue there. Santa Cruz Avenue. Technology and Recreation Park. I don't see a whole lot of activity going on there. And what kind of technology they have going on either. Make this right here on the Cambria Avenue. Vegas Don t-shirts available here on our shop in the shop, shop section of our uh, YouTube channel with the Vegas Don logo on top of the Las Vegas skyline so uh, check those out we also have some great uh, hoodies and other warm weather gear as well with the Vegas Don logo on it and the Las Vegas skyline so uh, please check those out really appreciate it and uh, we just want to say thank you so very, very much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok if you haven't already. We really, really appreciate it. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. Look at the homes over here on our left. And always remember here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey. We'll see you next time, folks.